The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers Christy Atari Creep? How's everyone doing today? So I've been asked a number of times. <laughs> What do you think of Rich Review Tech USA? All this flip flopping and all this stuff. Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Um, people use the word influencers and stuff like that. I don't really have any influencers online. There, there aren't too many people that will sway my opinion one way or the other. Believe it or not, that that's that's the subject of today's of today's video. But Rich, you know what I mean? God bless him. The guy's funny. Uh, if someone had told me him and I were uh, separated at birth and we had the same mom and dad, well, fuck, I, I believe him. You know, a lot of his mannerisms I, I, I have in my personal life. And that stupid voice he does all the time. Ask the girls here. I swear to God, they fucking hate it. But I do it all the time when I'm making fun of them. I'll be like, oh my Jesus, you can't get your fingernails done. <laughs> you know. Um, the guy was able to make a career on YouTube. And you know what? God bless him for it, too, because... It's a, it's a wonderful thing where someone can do the things that they enjoy doing and be able to sustain their, their, their lifestyle, their families, in this case. I believe he does have a family. And uh, he has almost a million subscribers, and he does this for a living. And uh, there's a reason for it, though. There's a reason why he has almost a million subscribers. The guy, the dude has the game. He knows the game. Uh, look, he's a grown-ass fat fuck like me. That uses words like simp, okay, and thirsty. Oh my god, he's simping for somebody and he's super thirsty for this chick YouTuber. Come on, Rich. Come on, dude. But there's a reason why he has almost a million subscribers. They follow trends, you know. I I'm a fan of his. I'm subscribed to him. I've been a fan of his since I saw his response to AVGN's uh, Super Nintendo vs. Sega Genesis. Um, I saw that two-part video he made and fell in love instantly. Now, I don't watch his channel a lot because there's a lot of topics on there that I quite frankly don't give a half a fuck about. Uh, PS5 stuff and other tech stuff that doesn't remotely interest me even a cunt here. So I can't sit there and say I'm like a fucking super fan or a sick of fan of his or anything like that. But every now and again, that topic will come up and whatever. And I've seen him use the Amico, and I'm not going to sit here and say he's disingenuous, because I take him as a very genuine individual, but you also got to remember the dude's a media personality, so to speak, now, okay? Almost a million subscribers, we're going to say that over and over again. And anyone who's gotten that far knows how to use the YouTube fucking thing to make the things happen for his stuff that happens at home, you know what I mean? Um, his wallet, basically. And do I think he genuinely thought what he thought about the Amico uh, you know, before, during, and now after? Yeah, but I think he also is influenced as an influencer to influence others by taking... He's not even doing a neutral standpoint at this point. He's, uh, he's just... He's mirroring the... the masses. He's going with the, the... Ever since this leak or whatever, I didn't even read half of it. Um, I personally don't give a shit. I really don't. And you can say whatever you want about that, too. Uh, I just know I'm still excited about what I've seen so far. And if you want to call me an idiot for that, well, fuck your mother. I don't give a shit. I'm going to be happy, and you're going to be over there fucking, Oh, my God, you like stuff. And I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm having a good time over here. You continue being a fucking weirdo. You continually continue being angry that I'm over here enjoying something that I don't care if it costs $250 million. If I enjoy it, I'm going to spend that money. Fuck you. So, here's what I think. He made a video the other day, most recently, and he said things, and this is this should sum up what I'm getting to with him, his YouTube career, and how I feel he feels about the Amico. He said something to the tune of, and I'm not directly quoting, um, and I don't remember what he was talking about, but he's like, you know, when, when you're an influencer and you're interviewing someone, you need to ask the uncomfortable questions. Be professional, but ask the uncomfortable questions. I seem to remember a person's first interview with a certain somebody, Tommy Tellerico, where he didn't ask the uncomfortable questions. 
and he got shit. He got a lot of shit for it. And what happened? He did take two, and he asked the uncomfortable questions. The guy knows how to steer the ship to the majority, and that's how he has almost a million subscribers. The guy's entertaining, he knows what he's talking about, and I do feel like he's not being uh, disingenuous. Um, but how I feel about his thoughts and him flip-flopping, it's typical. It is what it is. You know, the guy's got to make a living. Whatever. Um, do I care that he is more negative to the Amico now than he was before? No. I don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit. Because at the end of the day, look at my channel. I have, what, 1,700 and something subscribers? In the middle of the VCS and when the Amico first got announced, I... Luckily, I think I had 600 subscribers, maybe seven and change. I'm at almost 2,000 now. Am I bragging? No, I'm not fucking bragging. But what I'm saying is, is those two topics rose my channel more than double what it had been for years. I've been doing this since 2013. We're almost 10 years into this. And I stayed under a grand for the majority of that. We get the VCS and we get the Amico. And all of a sudden, brrr, all these people show up. Am I grateful for it? You bet your ass I am. Do I care if I have a lot of subscriptions? I really don't. I'm going to get on here and talk about what I want to talk about. And if it touches somebody, <laughs> if I touch somebody, <laughs> if, 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 if it strikes a chord in somebody and it, it opens up a dialogue or even opens up a discussion, a debate, awesome. That's what it's all about. Uh, subscriptions and all that crap. It's nice, it's validation, it's cool, it makes you feel good. But at the end of the day, it's not what I'm after. That's why I don't ask you to sub. I do appreciate your feedback, though, because it does tell me what I'm doing and what I'm doing wrong. When I say this and this is all positive, if I get one of these two, I know I did my job. I know I did this right, whether you agreed with me or whether you didn't agree with me, whether you genuinely enjoyed the video or you didn't enjoy the video, I know I'm getting, hopefully genuine responses and I did something right but the point I'm trying to make to you is this the Amico almost single-handedly with the VCS rose my subscription count almost more than double well no more than double <laughs> more than double what it initially was before I met a lot of really cool motherfuckers a lot of cool motherfuckers and I hope to continue to over the cost of whatever this takes us to okay 2013, I started this, December 8th. But given that I've grown that much, of course, Rich is going to use that as a vehicle. And he's even mentioned it a few times in, in that video I was just talking about. Um, people come, people will go during topics and discussions and all this. We pick on Pat and Ian. Um, they made bank during the uh, Coleco Chameleon. So they're, they're, they're suckling on the Amico as if it's going to be the next Coleco Chameleon. And it's really, I mean, I think they're very disingenuous. They probably don't like it. But I don't think they have any true problem with the console. I think they're more, they have a problem with personalities. And it's really that simple. But it's also a, 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 a vehicle to get that subscription count, to get that validation, and more importantly, to get that revenue. And I think that's where Rich is coming from. Again, I think he truly believes what he says in a lot of cases. I think he's just being a little bit more clickbaity about it. But that's just the name of the game. It really is. So I'm not saying anything negative to Rich a Review Tech USA. Um, like I said, I am a fan. And I'll still be a fan unless he does something fucked up. And that's it. That's it. So guys, go ahead and let me know what you think down below. Leave your feedback. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. All feedback to the creep is positive. Um, ah, man, I got something I really want to talk about, but I've been told to shut the fuck up. But we'll be talking about it here very soon. In fact, I'll record it now and put it private until I'm given the okay to talk about it. And it is Amico-related. So, thank you always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Happy Friday. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Happy 4th of July. If we don't talk between now and then. And until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye.